Hey, my name is Lucas Ryan, and this is How To Tuesdays. Today we're focusing on tail lifts. With tail lifts, there's four key points to actually, you know, doing the process of a tail lift. So there's going to be your hop, your yank, catching, and landing. So those are the four steps. First, you want to make sure you got a good solid hop, right? Like a good proper bunny hop. Just, right? And then you're going to want to make sure you can actually yank it properly. So, for me, my problem when I was learning tail whips was I was doing big, swooping Superman whip style yanks. You want to keep the bike as close to you, like your handlebars as close to your pelvis as possible. So, when you're doing them, you're not going to go like this, but you're going to do more of like a side to side motion. So just straight one side to the other and the bike will stay really close underneath you. And it'll be easier to watch your pedals that way as well. Um, so once you start getting a feel of how your yank goes, I would practice it, you know, just on the ground, something like this. Just, you know, pop off the bike, yank it, and hop back on, something like that, just to kind of practice getting the rotation and being able to hop back on the pedals. I also recommend learning, like, no footy cans. Um, those helped me a lot when I was doing toe lips. Um, so, we'll get you a little slow-mo clip here real quick. Alright, so that was a slow motion hop whip. Now, so you noticed, I probably, I caught a little bit on my crank arms um, and somewhat on my pedals. That's perfectly fine. Um, you watch pros, you see them, they're catching cranks all the time. Sometimes they catch pedals. It really, I guess, all depends on kind of how you're doing it. Um, another thing is, too, is, I mean, you, when you're first learning them, you just want to be able to get your feet back on. So you can stuff your foot like in your frame if you need to, but don't get too wild with it and go all the way through. Um, that can cause broken ankles and stuff. Learn that one the hard way. And then, um, you know, sometimes you might hit your heel on your sprocket. That's pretty typical. Um, that's why I tend to wear like a high top shoe, just because it helps kind of guard my ankles as well as I have, um, you can't see it, but my shin guards have a built-in ankle guard on them as well. Um, I've actually cracked it, <laughs> uh, just because sometimes, you know, the force from tail lips can be pretty ridiculous. Um, so, I mean, the biggest thing that helped me was just that small side-to-side, -side, you know, really tight, close-in yank that I, I was showing you before. So. Um, yeah, the, the smaller your tail whip is, you know, the full diameter of the circle it makes, um, the faster it's going to come around and essentially the easier it's going to be. Now, like when you start taking them to like doing drops or over box jumps or something, or even just fly out, you'll probably want to slow down your tail whip and maybe bring it out just a little bit more because you're going to have more air time. Um, so... Alright, so that kind of concludes my how to tail whip video. Um, if you got any questions, please, you know, just please comment below, ask me questions, or you can ask me questions, or you can get me on my Instagram page. Um, my username is right below. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I really hope this helps.